We're joined by a congressman at the center of the action, the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Mike Rogers. Congressman, thanks for joining us this morning. Let's begin with this question of Pakistan. Leon Panetta says they were either involved or incompetent. Which one is it? Well, I reviewed materials yesterday, George, that uh, may, led me to believe that the institution of their intelligence service, the institution of the Army, and the institution of the government, the leadership, were not aware that uh, Osama bin Laden was at that particular compound. Clearly, this is embarrassing for them. Uh, it is, we can't say for sure that there weren't some ISI or intelligence service people who knew or some Army individual that may have known. Uh, but clearly, to me, after what I've seen yesterday, uh, they did the institutions of those of those uh, organizations. So not, did not high know. level knowledge, according to what you've seen so far. And of course, they still have to go through a lot of intelligence that they picked up uh, in the compound. So based on that, you would not cut aid to Pakistan right now. Well, listen, this is one of those, uh, you know, love hate relationships with Pakistan. Over the last 10 years, 600 people, they've assisted us in arresting in the, in the settled areas of Pakistan, uh, and they've sent troops, army troops, into the tribal areas at our, at our behest, and they've taken thousands and thousands of casualties. So we've got to be careful. There's, we still need them. I think they need us, and, and we need them. Uh, Frustrating? Absolutely. Are they going to be the best partners we've ever had? No. How about this? Do we have to have them? I think we do, George. Okay, so you're saying you suggest you wouldn't cut off aid right now. How about this debate about the photos? We're learning now, Jake Tapper just reported, the president increasingly skeptical that those photos, those gruesome photos, should be released. I know you've seen many of these photos. You've reviewed the photos. Yeah. Would you release them? I have to tell you, I'm, I think I'm where the president is on this. I, I'm a little bit reluctant. I'll tell you why. This isn't, uh, you know, the conspiracy theorists are going to see the pictures and find 10 reasons why they think it's someone else. Here's the problem. If you're a, a sergeant in, in a town in Ghanzi, uh, uh, Afghanistan, uh, and you are trying to get some local elder to cooperate about uh, what's happening in your village, are you going to do it if this inflames into some kind of trope? We have a trophy of Osama bin Laden. I worry about that. And if we can't answer for sure and for certain this doesn't, this, this doesn't make the job of that soldier easier, if it makes it harder, I say it's not worth it. I think it's pretty common knowledge. The wives are talking that, yes, it was Osama bin Laden. Yes, he's dead. I don't know what we gain by showing okay. this particular That is photo. interesting. The tide seems to be turning against uh, releasing those photos. We also know that the SEALs picked up so much information inside that compound. Five computers, 10 hard drives, 100 DVDs and flash uh, drives. This is being described as a mother load of intelligence. How would you characterize it based on what you're learning? Well, we've got to go, there's a lot we have to go through. Some, some, some encryptions, some coding. Uh, it's in another language. It's in Arabic. It's in other languages. So there's a lot to go through before we really find out what we have. But remember, uh, small pieces of information can be critically important. Over five years ago, it started out with just a little snippet of information. The nickname of uh, an Arabic nickname of somebody who was uh, had an Arabic name. Uh, who probably wasn't his real name, who was going to be hanging out with people who weren't using their real names. By the way, find him in Pakistan, Afghanistan, Yemen, or Somalia, or Iraq. Good luck. And they did it, and it was an incredible piece of work by our intelligence services. Uh, and so with that, we're hoping for one small thing that can come out of the evidence that was collected and I know you're uh, former, as they were leaving the you're house. You're a former FBI agent, so you know how to analyze right. this stuff. We only have about 10 yeah. seconds left, but some are saying that this could be the largest intelligence coup since 9-11. We might even find things that, make it, that are even more significant than killing bin Laden. Do you buy that? Well, you know, he's very security conscious. I would be very cautious until we actually know what we have, and it's going to take a little time to know what we have. Okay, Mr. Chairman, thanks very much for joining us this hey, morning. Thanks for having me.